first up, we're going to bring up another guy, actually, who's here from Tennessee. They keep coming here. I don't know why. What the fuck? Tennessee must be really bad. <laughs> we're not worried about that. Give it up for Matt Boyd, everybody. Give it up for Matt Boyd. <laughs> Hell yeah. And his opponent, one of the uh, newest regulars on Kill Tony. Give it up for Hans Kim, everybody. Hans Kim. Hans Kim. Hans Kim. Hans Kim. Hans Kim. Hans Kim. All right, rock, paper, scissors, you two. Let's get this going. Hard. All right, thank God. That was fast. Good yeah. for Hans and Matt, everybody. Yeah. Guys, as Adam said, Hans is a regular on the Kill Tony podcast, which means that he gets to do one minute of stand-up every week, and they also pay strippers to come to the club and kiss him. <laughs> I didn't know that Make-A-Wish was sponsoring autistic adults. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Trailer Park Gola. <laughs> You're welcome, Hacky Chan. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep it going for Dallas Buyers Nub. <laughs> Very rarely have I been a gold body for someone. I look like if Matt Boyd was on steroids. <laughs> How does it feel to know that you'll never be as masculine as an Asian man? <laughs> Thank you, Bommy Lee. We appreciate it very much. <laughs> Hans has sex like he does comedy. Very boring, one minute at a time, and whenever Tony Hinchcliffe tells him he can. <laughs> Are you recording this? <laughs> Which is more than you ever have said. <laughs> Thank you, Disney Channel's Bulan. We appreciate it. How many puns on Asian names can you do? You want to find out? Yes. Keep it going for the assistant coach for a high school girls volleyball team. <laughs> Matt is as respected in the comedy community as he is in the pickup basketball community. They say laughter is the best medicine, but you should still take your testosterone. Hans looks like he jerks off the Mythbusters. I see what you mean. Thank you, resting snitch face. <laughs> Matt Boyd is not a pedophile. Because if you're a child and you can't overpower Matt Boyd, that's on you. <laughs> Hans hasn't told his parents yet that he's a Tony's lap dog. He's not embarrassed, he's just afraid they'll try to eat him. Cancelled. <laughs> you watching this, Pang? We're right here, baby. Pang Dang is uh, Matt Boy's ghostwriter. <laughs> he's the only reason you think you're funny. So, uh, here we go. He's the same size as you are. <laughs> He's as funny as you are, so good <laughs> job. No one knows you. <laughs> Your whole YouTube channel's about to, so we're to keep it going. <laughs> uh, give it up for the tiniest Confederate monument. <laughs> the only way to take down this statue is with a lawnmower. <laughs> Hans has a lot in common with the homeless people here in Austin. He lives in a van, he annoys people on 6th Street, and he lost a lot of people in the Korean War. <laughs> Matt Boyd is what happens to you when your mom smokes, drinks, snorts, shoots up, and goes on roller coasters with you in the room. <laughs> Is that it? Yep. All right. That was fun, man. That was fun. Good job, boys. Let's get on to them. Holy shit. We need to say roast of the night. All right? Roast of the night for these guys. Fuck yeah. That was absolutely awesome. 
So we'll see. We'll vote for these guys. Let's see. Who thinks Matt Boy makes the right?